Hey everybody, we're back! Or starting a new stream. Give me a second here. I'm gonna set up a thing for y'all. So that y'all can see this wonderful experience. While I... Wait, how's that work? Is that how that works? Oh shit. Um, I'm tr I'm doing my best. No, nothing. I'm smart. Very smart. As smart as it gets, baby. You know it. Hold on, I'm doing I'm doing a thing. Very intelligently. There we go, and save. Wait, that's not. I did it! Alright, we're good to go. And... Oh my god! Look at that! I fixed it, kind of. Kind of. Elmo is also down here screaming his ass off. Hello, Elmo. You're a good boy. Oh god, he's crazed. Oh, hon, could you grab this? Because he's going to jump in it and make all sorts of noises. Alright, hey, welcome to the stream. We're going to be doing Claire Leon. Should the audio? No. I turned it down so that you could hear me just fine. Um, wait, last time didn't I do... Which did I do last time? I thought I did all four variations. I really did think I did all variations. Yeah, I'm going to do Claire first. For sure. All right. Let's thank some people and then get into Resident Evil because we won't be able to thank people while we're doing the Resident Evil 2 thing. Uh, might not finish the whole game tonight because we're going to be reading all the cuts, uh, watching all the cutscenes and reading all the diaries. So let's get to the sewers. Guaranteed. Shall we? All right. Let's thank Shootbang EXE, who sub for six. Thank you, Shootbang. Enjoying the nostalgia overdose in celebration of RE3, mate. P.S. Can't wait to see the new Palpatine dumpster fire. Me too. Me and Paige are going to see it tomorrow. Hey, Paige. You excited for Star Wars tomorrow? Uh, not really. I have to go see it for work. Beowulf Terra sub for eight. Says, just bought and beat Resident Evil 2 Remake in preparation for RE3. Can't wait to see you kill it in the original version. Thanks for all the content. You're quite welcome. Random guy, sub for 16, says, Hey, Pat, been holding on to this all month due to no thoughts. Glad you're doing this because I'm a slut for classic Resident Evil. What's your favorite Resident Evil intro voice? Uh, definitely the two. Resident Evil. And it's like, okay. And then he says, two. And it's like, you're really, really... Over enunciating the two, brother. Like, really a lot. Kodama Prime subs to the Blackbird 417. Thank you very much. Geo kicked in 15 bucks. Thanks, Geo. You notice Steam added a remote play function, was able to play Sonic Adventure 2 multiplayer through it. I did not know that. That's really cool. I was too busy fucking around with uh, review codes earlier today. Uh, I, got, I had to get things refunded so that the review code work was very, very annoying. Stace McGate gifted a sub to Queequeg. Thank you, Stace. Enjoy it, Queequeg. Valchi kicked in 10 bucks. Thanks, Valchi. You want games game scare for young kids? My, my PS1, my first PS1 game was Parasite Eve 2 when I was seven years old. Seeing the dead bodies in the Acropolis Tower scared the fuck out of me. You were a pussy. But that's okay. Seven-year-olds shouldn't be hard-ass motherfuckers like I was. I was actually terrified of blood. Until I was 11 years old. I was terrified of blood. Um, in any format. I'm, I was the kid who, if, uh, if I saw blood, even, like, cartoon blood or whatever, I would, like, shriek and run away and uh, avert my eyes. I was, I, oh, man, scared the shit out of me. 
And then I played RE2 when I was 11 in the summer of 1998. And it was so cool that I forgot to be scared of the blood. And there's a lot of really gory things in it. And ever since then, cured. Um, and then when I was a little older, I started getting horrible nosebleeds all the time. And seeing a lot of your own blood all the time totally cures you of your blood phobia. I see more of my own blood than most people do. But that's okay. Blood's okay. Blood's your friend. Tenchi G sub for four. Thanks, Tenchi. I have a genuine two-inch hole in my leg because it's infected. Hope it's not the G virus. Good luck with the Resident Evil runs. Well, it's not because it would actually be a big and in, in engorged instead of a hole. So you're good. Arfsum sub for two says, Pat, if you never use items because if you die, it's wasted. Aren't the items technically wasted also? Nope. KJ Sandwich, sub for two. Thank you. So far fetched, sub for five. Uh, kicked in five. Thank you, far fetched. Is Page, Page, is Page planning to get you data pajamas for Christmas after that Star Trek Discovery? Ho, ho, ho. During that one stream of Plague, of watching how data goes to bed? Maybe. Maybe she will. That'd be cool. Actually, if he gets nosebleeds more than once a month, he might be right. I get nosebleed two, three times a week. Almost exclusively after I wake up. Uh, Bobo to Hobo, sub for 17. Thank you, Bobo. Hey, Pat. My neurologist says I can't take headache medication for the next month so I can get over my rebounding migraines. Every day of the last week has been constant pain. So that's where I'm at. How are you? I'm all right. That sounds rough, buddy. Hot and or cold shower. Sorry, hot shower or cold compress. Whichever. Have I talked to a doctor about that genuinely? Oh, Absolutely. I spoke to the doctor that gave me the medication that caused it. You see, I used to I used to be a fucking uh, cystic acne, uh, pizza face child with horrible, big, big old hard pimples all the time. So I went on the uh, Accutane, and the Accutane cleared all that shit up. Uh, but it also has a long list of side effects. Of which the only one that I received was dry nose. However, what that means is that if I wake up in the morning and the air was dry or something. And I do this or do that too much. The fucking uh, the skin in my nose is so dry that my fucking like booger can cut my nose with like a slash and give me a fucking nosebleed. Like I've done this and Paige has seen like blood just shoot out. It's very annoying. Worth it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I would not recommend Accutane because it can literally kill you or give you Crohn's disease or whatever. But yeah, no, it's, it's, it's rough out there. So Dakota McDoodle sub for six. Thank you, Dakota. I just remembered the terrible moves exist. Time to purge my brain again. I did it. I didn't. KJ Sandwich kicked in another five. Thanks, KJ. Having trouble deciding if I should buy FF7 on the Switch before the remake comes out. Should I spend my money, even though I'm getting the same game with lesser polish? It's, it's a completely different game. It's a completely different game. You should totally get it. It's cool. Uh, Valderick, so four. Thank you, Valderick. Jet Jenkins gave 10 subs to people. Thank you, Jet. That's very kind. Q button sub for four says, I hope this isn't Chris's sub. It's not. John Elway's T sub for seven says, Yay, Resident Evil. It is. Quadratic Gravity sub for nine says, Discord access button. If you don't use, if you don't sub, you get kicked out of the Discord. By the way, I don't know if you guys can tell quite yet, but uh, this cutscene is actually way higher quality than. It, the other one is. See, because I was playing the uh, H old HD mod last time. I'm playing the new HD mod. So a significant improvement. This is the GameCube version being emulated by a dolphin. Puff, sub for nine. Thank you, Puff. Nine months. The birth is finally here. I expect to see support check next week or I'll be contacting the Twitch police. Also, please inform Elmo that I would be honored if he would be the godfather. Thanks, Patricia. Elmo! You're gonna be Puff's grandpa. Sorry, Godfather. We love you. Archer2150, sub for nine. Teen. 
Says, what up, Patty Boy? I haven't been able to catch streams for a long time. See, Scumma needs a haircut. How have you been? I've been quite well. We're doing Resident Evil games. I'm in my element, man. Also, Jet Jenkins kicked in another 10 subs. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Aqua Cure kicked in five. Thanks, Aqua Cure. Really excited to see you go through all the Resi games. Even some of them might be a little painful. Speaking of painful, do you plan on fighting Nemesis for those sweet custom parts? Or are you going to save ammo and run? Either way, keep on keeping on. I don't know. Um, Nemesis. That first fight with Nemesis is by far the hardest. That first fight with Nemesis is really bad. Uh, so it's going to depend on on that. Uh, Quigsies, sub for seven. Thank you, Quigsies. Take a look at this. Seriously, though, man. Always happy to support the stream and looking forward to more RE streams here soon. Oh, thanks, man. Amani will fight you for bagel. Kicked in five bucks. Thank you, Amani. Look, I tolerate a lot of shit on this stream. I understand drinking pickle. Uh, Paige literally just left the house. Paige, you still home? Now nah, she's gone. Uh, I understand drinking pickle juice. I will even kind of start understanding the fear of worms in my burger. I will fucking shit so much in public on the street on live TV to defend bagels. How dare you? Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll kick that messenger away. RPG Chicago, sub for seven. Thank you, Chicago. Katana, sub for 16, says, And as I send this, the stream is busted for me, but happy hunting anyway. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. CB Rocket, sub for seven, says bagels are the worst breakfast bread, but all bread is good. I can live with that. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. Come here. Come here. Uh, Latico, sub for two. Thank you. So did Crazy Kafka. Thank you. Oh, it's the pee pee. Hello. Hello, babies. Oh, it's a good boy. Oh, I love you. All right, General Alve kicked in five bucks. Thanks, General Alve. Got my Christmas bonus. Finally got my hands on a real monitor instead of a shit TV for my PC. 1440p and 144 hertz, 32 inch and curved. It's great. But no, seriously, 144 hertz is like smooth as Elmo's fur. I got a nice pair of $150 headphones too. See, the problem that I have with 144 hertz is getting games to run at 144 hertz. That's a lot. Uh, Mask of Michael kicked in 500 bits to say, here's my two cents in the breakfast discussion. Ba bacon is gross. You're insane. Biohunter stuff for four says, as I get older, I find myself agreeing more and more with Pat. I'm scared. Don't worry, buddy. It's good in here. You know, come on. Oh, this is a sweet boy. Look at this sweet boy. Elmo. Come here. You good cat. You guys hear him purring? Come here, baby. Come here. Hey. Hey. You good boy, yeah. Who's a good boy? There he goes. <sighs> good boy. Tabari suffer seven. Uh, sorry, fourteen says you keep playing Disco Elysium. I was wondering if you had thoughts about the ending. I have not. I've been playing a lot of Destiny lately. Probably be playing a lot of Monster Hunter in the near future as well. Those games are service games, man. Those gas games. Big gas. Matt Cow Disease Suffer 6 says, I just have to say that I got nothing to say. Well, that's fine, buddy. Appreciate the sub regardless. Flask Toss sub. Thank you, Flask Toss. Enigma sub for 10 says, God, that he's a crazy man lying slays so hard. Glad you're having a good time tonight, boyo. I am. I thank you. Oh. Uh, Kamikaze Ripple sub. So did Shout to the Void and Nobara. Thank you. Caraway Fashion Tea, sub for two, says totally worth it for the bagel. Yeah, I know. J Frosty Beats, sub, thank you. Pilgrim says what? Kicked in five bucks, says I'm eating cereal with fucking milk. Good for you, buddy. Blank Kun, sub, thank you, Blank Kun. Jones McFly, sub for three, this is 69, thank you, nice. Spec Ops Bear, sub for 20, says I just got an Oculus Rift S as an early Christmas gift for myself today. Pat, seriously, VR chat, never? That's right! 
I went into VR chat to test its viability as a streaming thing. Anyone who streams that game is crazy because of the incredibly low amount of control you have over what other people do and say in VR chat. Sorry, Cam K's Ripple. Um, Rue Oren stuff for three says, I miss the fact that RE2 Remake doesn't have the Tyrant Drop scene. Ah, well, yeah, it's a bummer. Barbell Goose sub for seven. Thank you. Knickknack Production sub. Thank you. Shirtle kicked in 500 bits. Thank you, Shirtle. Hey, Pat and Page. Saw an SUV in my small town with a human sized neon green skeleton on the passenger seat. First thing to pop into my head is wondering what Page is doing in Missouri. Have a good fun, fun with your Zambos the rest of the night, Pat. Why, thank you. That's very nice. That is pretty funny. Millhouse Van Hooten kicked in five bucks as the new Twitch channel points is literally you should win things by watching. It totally is. Mm. Purple. Rant Deliriation, of for 24. Thank you, Rant. Streams in Great to Fall while leveling Blue Mage again. Merry almost Christmas. That's right. Almost Christmas. Jam Jam subbed for two months to say Pog. And also kicked in 500 bits to say... Uh, I can play with the big boys. Also, I love RE. Thank you. And Mia Bite, suffer so 4, says, Hey, Pat, did you ever get a chance to look at Song of Horror? No, I forgot. Give me some nice survival horror Resi vibes. Also, any thoughts on a period? No thoughts. I haven't played it. Seems really buggy. Oh, and Jam Jam gifted a sub to Chloro Shepherd. Thanks, guys. All right. Well, let's turn this shit up. And switch on over to the game. Resident Evil 2! Oh, shit. Claire. So check out how, how, so the coolest thing about this mod is that you can hit delete and it'll change it back to the way it was. So, this is the current version of the mod. Oh, it only works with the backgrounds. Might be. Might be. So we'll take a look at that later. So. Uh, a range game is not what you think. It's, it's literally just a super easy mode. Let's normal it. Resident Evil 2. 2. So stupid. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation on the affair. The case was apparently closed, thanks to the efforts of STARS members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far Bob finished. finished. The increase in quality in every single part of this game over the first one was astonishing. It, like... You want to talk improved sequels, like Mass Effect 1, Mass Effect 2, or whatever? This game is so much better than the first game. It's crazy. <sighs> I'm finally here. Yo, is that Allison Court of Big Comfy Couch? It is. That guy's a maniac. Why'd he bite me? Hello. Is 
In the book, here? it describes that she went to Emmett's or Emmy's in order to have a burger because that's where Chris usually hung out late at night. Uh, hello. <gasps> Look, I'm sorry I bothered you, okay? Just don't come any closer. Are you listening? Get down. We can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Look at him go. There. Buckle up. Okay. And we're just popping off, aren't we? Going on. I arrived in town and the whole place went Rate, insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah, first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take, Better it, take with it with you. Oh no! <laughs> Zombie Leon is here! You okay? Still in one piece. That maniac's gonna ram us. Why did back? Claire, Leon, I'm okay. Head to the station. I'll meet you there. Okay. That truck's a maniac. Why it explode? They were parted by an unescapable destiny. This is just the beginning of their worst nightmare. <laughs> These details are great. So... Here's a really good point to stop. This is with the mod on. I thought hitting delete was supposed to change it. Well, oops. Thought hitting delete would do it. Oh well. That seems to be broken. Oh well. Not important. Point is, it looks good. Freeze! Who are you? What are you doing here? Don't shoot! I'm oh, I was able to do it before, but I don't know why I can't do it now. Ooh. Sorry about that, babe. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Regardless, considering I just played RE1. I ain't got no clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Zombies. He said it. He said the word. Now remember, always, always, always go to this one first. We'll see why in just a sec. Oh no! Run straight forward. 
Smash that shit! Yeah, it's it's tough to get the distance right. By the way, if you want to know what the mod I'm using is, it's called the Resident Evil Seamless HD mod for RE2. And there's one for RE3 as well. See them? Run. Camera shift. There you go. Oh shit. You know, I meant to do that. Uh, see, that's a good sequence breaker. Um, just give me one second here. How'd you get the mod on the PS1? This is GameCube. The increase of the graphical fidelity here, just in the original, was incredible over RE1. It's a higher resolution, too. Um, but this mod really fucking kicks it up a notch. A lot of people don't know this. There's handgun bullets here. And there's Misty the zombie. And we're just doing great today! We'll be able to fix it soon enough. Oh god, the fucking change. The fucking change from one to the other is actually fucking me up really bad. Because on the PS1 I had to use this, on here I have to use this. Nailed it! <sighs> and secret herb right here. There we go. All right, Marvin. What up, dog? Ba da da ba ba da ba da ba da da ba. Hang in there. Are you the only officer left in the building? Uh, who are you? Claire. Claire Redfield. I'm looking for my brother, Chris. We lost contact with him over ten days ago. Chris, Jill, Barry. Every last Stars team member has disappeared. We should have listened to them. What happened? About two months ago. A legitimate JoJo's Bizarre Adventure reference right above his head. Involving these zombie-like creatures. In a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other STARS members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. At the, At the risk, risk of, of their, their own lives. lives. But no one believed them. Elmo. Uh, Are, you, are okay? you okay? Don't, Don't worry, worry about, about me. me. 
just, just rescue the survivors, survivors in the in other, other rooms. rooms. The, of which there are none. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now, now go. go. But... Just go. Okay. Just hang in there. I'll be back soon. Come here. Just go. And then he locks it. Damn. So you get a lot of ammo right off the fucking gate here. Ooh, these were manually done. Good job. I would like to use the blue card key. What is that area in the middle? It's still always been really confusing. Oh well. First aid spray. So, by the way, this fucking knife, completely useless. This letter is just to inform everyone about the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the precinct's rearrangement. The safe with the four-digit lock has been moved from the star's office on the second floor to the eastern office on the first floor using code 2236. Look at all the- look at this better inventory. Isn't that much better? Oh. Delicious. Oh, I'm gonna read this shit, guys. What the fuck was that noise? Only time you ever see this camera angle. It's to spook you. Seems to have been twisted off. That's crazy. What could it be? Welcome back, darling. <gasps> I know I did Leon A. Claire B because this is the part that Paige went, oh boy, and then went, why would the liquor say that? Fucking shit, that's gonna get me bad. So the problem with this is that the fucking bow gun's a piece of shit. Bow gun and CVX is different though. It's basically the rocket launcher. Why, hello there, darling. I almost got hit by a drunk driver. Sick. Yeah. Okay. You okay? I go. Huh? You alright? I'm fine, and then he came into the store I was in. Are you serious? And I went, hey, what the fuck, bro? He's like, I'm so sorry, I didn't see you. I'm like, yeah, you were too busy drinking that 40. I saw it in your fucking hand. I'm not kidding. You call the cops? No. You should have snitched. Uh. Yeah. Operation report. Raccoon City Police Department is unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Well, there's a police report for you. Many have been injured, even more were killed. During the attack, our communications equipment was destroyed and we no longer have communication with the outside. We have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors as well to prevent this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The details of the operation are as follows. Security of armaments and ammunition. Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents. The very day before the zombies attack, he made the decision to relocate all weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to relocate all the ammunition caches. It has been our top priority to recover these scattered ammunitions. To unlock the weapon storage. As stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition. 
However, considerable supply still remains in the underground weapon storage. However, the person in charge of the card key used to access the weapon storage is missing, and we have been unable to locate the key. One of the breakers went down during the battle, and the electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas. It has now become pro top priority to restore power in the area and secure these locks. 1 p.m. West Barricade has been broken through, and another exchange ensued. We sheltered the injured in the confiscation room on the first floor temporarily. Twelve more people were injured in the battle. These three additional people were killed in a fo following the sudden appearance of an as-yet-unknown creature. The creature is identified by missing patches of skin and razor-like claws. However, its most distinguishing characteristic is its lance-like tongue, capable of piercing a human torso in an instant. Their numbers, as well as their location, remains unknown. We have tentatively named this creature the Licker, and are currently in the process of developing countermeasures to deal with this new threat. Here's a countermeasure. Shoot it. Countermeasure obtained. Oh, that shotgun ammo is only there for Leon. Whoops. One, two, are you serious? You fucking bitch. This is gonna sound odd, but always waste your bowgun ammo. Uh, in the sequence. Always. And then junk that bowgun immediately. That bowgun is for killing that liquor only. Also, it sucks. Nothing in here, if I remember correctly. And we can read this. Operation Report 2. Early morning, 2.30 a.m. Zombies overran the operation room and another battle broke out. We lost four more people, including David. Down to four people, including myself. We failed to secure our weapons cache and our hope for survival continues to diminish. Won't last much longer. We agreed upon a plan to escape through the sewer. There's a path leading from the precinct underground to the sewer's disposal plant. We should be able to access the sewers through there. The only drawback is there's no guarantee the sewer's disposal plant is free of any possible dangers. We know our chances in the sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. In order to buy more time, we lock the only door leading to the underground, which is located in the eastern office. We have to keep behind in the western office, so this is unlikely that any of those creatures have the intelligence to find it and unlock the door. I pray that this operation report will be helpful to whoever may find it. Thanks, Elliot. And up we go. I don't know what that is. Wow, is that different from a regular sausage? Oh, it's good. I still can't. What's the difference between that and a regular sausage? Are you fucking serious with this? Slightly different spices. Okay, thanks, guys. It's what? What is it? Different spices. Wow, the texture, the, the new pre-rendered backgrounds are so advanced, you can actually read that from this screen.
Red jewel! A pepe. I got some blueberries for you. Yeah, blueberries. Wow, that's a lot of blueberries. Grenade launcher. Rebecca's desk is here, so that's why there's a fucking. Oh, there isn't. Oh, damn. This is Jill's desk. It's a picture of a young man. There's a good chance it's her boyfriend. Yeah, except in the remake, they changed it into a photo of her dog. Chris's diary. How did they do that? Keep the idea that she's single, I guess. So people would jerk off harder. I talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain the umbrella conducted T virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in the explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella employs so many people here in town, no one's willing to talk about the incident. Looks like I'm running out of options. I've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. Oh, thank you, darling. Oh, cool, a cup of blueberries. With the help of Jill and Barry, finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G-Virus, a variation of the original T-Virus. Haven't they done enough already? Talked it over? We decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip, because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. Mm. Yeah, thank you, darling. Unicorn medal! So what's up with you guys? That's cool. Just vibing. Yeah, I don't play Code Veronica, even though it's bad. Can they streamline in RE3 more? The number one thing they need to streamline, which they clearly have, is turn the dodge move into a genuine button. Hey, some kind of facts. Federal Police Department Internal Investigation Report. Mr. Chris Redfield, Raccoon City, blah, 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 blah. As per your request, we've conducted an internal investigation and discovered following information. Regarding the G-Virus currently underdeveloped by Umbrella, so far it's unconfirmed that the G-Virus even exists. We're continuing with our investigation. Regarding Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department, Mr. Irons has allegedly received a large sum of funds and bribes from Umbrella over the last five years. He's also apparently involved in the cover-up of a mansion lab, along with several other incidents to which Umbrella appears to have been directly involved. Mr. Irons has already been arrested on the suspicion of rape on two separate counts during his years of, as a university student. He underwent psychiatric evaluation as a result of the charges, but was released due to circumstantial evidence as well as phenomenal academic standing. As such, extreme caution is advised when dealing with him because he's a cry... Cryby? He's a creepy rapo man who loves dead bodies. Thanks, Jack Hamilton. <laughs> So there's a detail that I don't know if any of you guys noticed it was only on screen for a second. A cheeky little fucking no addendum that the guys behind this mod added that is a really, really nice detail. And I applaud them. Let's take a look at it in just one second. They went out of their way to destroy that window. Ah, 
Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm still scared. Yeah, that got me real bad the first time. And playing these games back to back is really fucking me up on the controls. It's the spade key! Oh my god. RE1 has ruined my fucking muscle memory. God damn. And no, this won't be a, two, a sub two hour run. Um, the fact that I'm reading the documents, it's probably gonna be th three, maybe three and a half. Also, I pet this baby. I pet him. You can also mash through the fucking dialogue here. Which is really good. Oh, no, that's not hers. There's an ink ribbon here, though. And there's our boy, the crank! Wait, hold on. Oh, the investigation report isn't there. Oh, man. Is that only for Leon? Get that crank again! Yeah, it's a texture mod. Delicious blueberries. Thank you, darling. the fucking actual th uh, picture from RE0. Instead of the really fucked up one from RE2. Blueberries are slowing down my run! Luckily, we only have one monster to kill here. Uh, Leon has to kill like five. Really annoying.
Claire, you made it. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl around here? Yeah, you just missed her. Who is she? I don't know. But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course. But before I forget, here's a radio. That way we can keep in touch if something comes up. That's actually really incredibly smart, Leon. So, fun fact. Your fucking... <laughs> your fucking gun doesn't de-equip because I'm insane and I don't know what I'm talking about. Flame rounds right away. There we go. It was just small in her hand. I'm eating blueberries. Paige went to the store and got me blueberries. Well, actually, she. Oh! Shh. Same crank noise. Do you find that the wires get crossed during the police station layout in RE2, RE3, RE Outbreak, and RE2 Remake? Now, uh, now I do. area is vital to fucking clear out. Nope, that's B scenario. You're gonna be making this trip a lot. So there's a nice little detail in RE2 where if they fall down and there's like a, a slightly more blood explosion out of their chest, that means that they're dead for sure by the time they hit the floor. You can almost always tell when they're dead. example. Oh, shit. Like, he's dead, for example. accidentally moved one of the stone statues on the second floor when I leaned against it. Chief found out he was furious. So the guy nearly bit my head off. Hit my head off, screaming at me never to touch the statue again. It's so important that maybe you shouldn't have put it out in the open like that. Heard that all the art pieces from the Chief's collection are rare items, literally worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Don't know which is the bigger mystery. Where he finds those tacky things, or where he's getting the money to pay for them. 
What's the surprise to see the chief come in today with yet another large picture frame in his hands? So it was a really disturbing painting depicting a nude person being hanged. I was appalled by the expression on the chief's face as he leered at that painting. Why anyone would consider that something like that to be a work of art is beyond my comprehension. I am taking a lot of uh, damage for this run. A little embarrassed, but that's okay. Now this... isn't the best way to do this. I'm wasting a little bit of time doing it, but... But that's okay. I just want to get it out of the way. It's actually more annoying to me as Claire, because uh, Leon's lighter actually makes it a little easier to route it. Hey, Elmo. Oh. This confident cat with his big old bag. Alright, let's burn this shit. Thank you. That is a big old ruby, ain't it? and not like spread rumors that I'm defending a drunk driver. What? Guy, yeah, I'm like seeing some shit and it's like I absolutely do not defend the guy who almost fucking hit me. And the reason I didn't report it is because he had parked at his fucking house and like what can I do? Like no one saw it. I was the only one. It's like I'm not defending drunk driving. Like please don't start shit like that. That's absolutely disgusting and ridiculous especially, especially since I was the one that was almost hit. So like please kindly fuck off. Well, you've Absolutely got, you've got mod powers. You have all the Absolutely ability appalling. in the world to... Well, so, well, the problem is, look. Like, I can't see anything. Then how are you able to see it? It wasn't in here. It uh, was from here, but... Hmm. Why the fuck can't this... Look at this. Why is that happening? I don't know, Paige. Your phone always seems to have Wi-Fi troubles. <sighs> I was uncomfortable, cursed nobleman. How the fuck you think I feel, douchebag? Like, come on. I'm allowed to tell people to not spread rumors. My bad if it's uncomfortable. Like, I don't feel bad. What? Somebody thought you were saying that shit to me. I'm like, I wouldn't fucking dare. Oh, are you kidding? I value my fucking balls. Listen, all I'm saying is that anybody who says that is a bagel in my eyes. You know what that means? They're delicious. No, they're disgusting. And this, this, this no, analogy. No, no one will ever lick your hole. This, this, Nailed this it. analogy's gonna Nailed it. break down. Nailed it. Fast. Nailed it. With people that. No one will ever lick the bagel hole. Not even once. Yep. Oh, see, Talus has a, a, a update to that, which I like. That they're dry and tasteless. 
Granted, I don't know what bagels you're eating that are dry. Oh yeah, birds, by the way. There's birds that attack you here. It's not it's not that big of a deal. I like I that that crow scare is so not important that I legitimately don't even like think about it. I went from on your team to thinking fuck you in seconds. Congrats. What's that for? You shit talking bagels. Listen, I will never relax. Bagels are gross. Y'all can fuck off. Nailed it. Nailed it. Anyone who likes bagels has You know, you know what's really has fuck? mediocre taste. Uh. You know what's going to be really Look tragic, Paige? <laughs> what? Is that uh you're going to be in two different vods <laughs> hating on bagels out of nowhere. <laughs> I have thoroughly and permanently Just like, offended everyone. People are going to be like, oh, whoa, thank God, Paige Listen, isn't going to be shitting on bagels on this if one. If you... Like don't a you anyway me, homu, homu Rao. Don't you anyway me. I will. Fuck, you're I'm here, so here. good at this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Paige, this is a Wendy's. This is a Wendy's. <laughs> anyway... Anyway, what's really important is the sound effect. I fucking love that valve sound you effect. Do you want me to make that noise in bed for no. you? Do you think that would help? No, it's, it's a relaxing and familiar, yeah. comforting noise from my childhood. If you were to put that into our bedroom time, that would be weird, man. Boy, you get a lot of handgun ammo in this fucking game. People are asking what Skelmo's deal is. Peaches? What? People are asking what Skelmo's deal is. What do you mean? Skelmo's living his best life. Look at him. He's having, he's having a great time. He's doing his best, guys. Okay, so Sleepy Maribo points out that the Resident Evil 2 remake is on sale on Steam right now for 20 bucks. So you should get it. It's a good game. Oh, by the way, Claire gets lucky. Stock noise effect. But the zombies actually disappear from her game when she puts the fire out so that that thing can play uninterrupted. Do they really need a fancy cutscene for this? Ah. No, not here. It's here. But only as Leon. But this is here for both. I thought you were a pro? There are so many fucking versions of this game living in my fucking mind. Plus, I just did RE1, and that- I'm screwing the controls up all over the place. For real. Yes. Let's go. No. We're gonna go the other way. Paige, what's Brugers? Huh? What do you mean? What's Brugers? I don't know. 
Somebody's like, Paige, my girlfriend works at Bruger's Fuck. I have no idea. <laughs> ah, it's a bagel store. It's a bagel store. Must be American thing. Yeah, Paige wouldn't know about American things. How could you have a chain of bagels? Top far five RE games. Resident Evil 2 and original and Resident Evil 2 remake are tied. So that's that's one and one. And then uh, third place goes to remake. Uh, fourth place goes to four. And fifth place goes to... Probably Revelations 2. I really like that game. A lot. He's dead. He's not dead. Two, two, three, six. Play RE4 2? Of course I am. That's a Resident Evil game. Should I get this game on PSN? Well, you should own the game at least in some way legitimately before you download the uh, GameCube Dolphin modified version that I'm using right now because it's way better. Alright, now let's put this shit away. Is there a remastered mod for RE4 as well? I was not aware. Genuinely. Is it finished? Or is it, uh... It's a work in progress, but it's mostly done. Okay, cool. That's cool. I will check that out. Pardon me if I was a bitch. Oh, but honey. But you know how I feel about, like, misrepresentations of my character. Like, I say lots of stupid shit for real. That I delight. If you're gonna commit a hate crime against Paige, it better be over the bagel oh shit. Oh my god. And not over this drunk driving shit. Well, now you're making it seem like I did a drunk drive. What? Please, as if. That would be the funniest takeaway. No, it would wait, be like, what? did oh. you know that Paige was out drunk driving, getting yeah. bagels? Well, and you'd be I... like, bagels? Well, I was just writing. <laughs> I was just writing to someone. I was just writing to someone. I was like, next thing you know, people are gonna be like, Paige loves drunk driving. She loves it. I oh, know. Absolutely on, Paige, not. Paige, you, you, you just flew over the joke that I made. I know. I'm. I know. Yeah. No. I. Sorry. I, I'm still kind of in shock that I was almost hit. So if I'm the a, sun I'm a is down, she's already drunk. But it's winter time. The sun's always down. <sighs> I'm a little bitchy. You know how you get after you get shocked, you're still a bit like, ugh. Yeah. I chewed him out. I don't usually get like that because I'm a man. He's parked his. But I mean, what can you like? What can I do? Slash his tires. No. I mean, no. I mean, you could have. Been. Well, no thanks. I love the bagel joke better. Yeah, this isn't a joke. <laughs> yeah, no, the bagel. The bagel. You gotta get that plastique. Fucking bagels are gross. By the way, there's bowgun ammo in here. How 
dare you spread that disgusting rumor that I like bagels? Rather... I'd rather not eat a bagel. Nailed it. Oh, you're killing it, darling. I'm tired. I know. Can I have a sausage? Just one little slip of sausage. Open your mouth. Ah. Thanks, honey. Uh huh. I will say that the best bagel I have had, which is not much. Uh oh, extra dopeness said not funny didn't laugh, so you better dance like a fucking clown. You have to you have to appease them. You have do it more. Sluttier. Nice. Wait, hold on. Gordon Ramsay. Delicious. Nice. Perfect. Juicy. <laughs> I don't like being Delicious. called juicy. You are juicy though. <laughs> we gotta dance. Hey, who wants me to ruin sex forever? Me? Men are like giant pimple, pimples. You squeeze them and they shoot white stuff. That's not true. Yeah, they are. I mean, with you it is, because all it takes is one like, Doo, and you're done. But that's not true. It takes two. <laughs> so you guys want to know a secret about Pat? You see that orb? Oh god. Has this has this not come up no. yet? It's filled with nothing but cum. That's why he's so big. It's not the fact that he eats all this candy. That's why he's so white. He's actually translucent. But um <clears throat> I Man, I just no sell the fact that I killed the shit out of Marvin. <laughs> Poor Marvin. <laughs> it's too late. Now it's in your head. Don't fuck up. Listen, I am doing a bad job getting all of it out. I'm trying. I try it every day. So, check this out. The doctor, 19901 said they just finished their master's in biology and now they're going for a PhD. Their research will be in just how good is the choke jerk. Just how good? Yeah. Thank you. You're doing us all a service. Mm. Especially the we choke jerkers. You. Wait, what do you mean? Autoerotic asphyxiation? Yeah, that's what choke jerking is, Paige. I thought you meant like, like where you like really manhandle the manhandle. You know what I mean? Yeah, apparently Max and JJ were in a car accident. Oh shit, are yeah. you serious? Yeah. Well, I hope I they're I all right. Yeah, are they okay? I mean, I assume if he made a Twitter update, then that means he's they're okay-ish. Anything? I foresee a future in which I'm in the hospital having my legs, like, like oh, good. run fine. over by a car and I just post on Twitter got hit by a car lol donate to twitch.tv slash angry as Pat wait, and, wait, and, wait and people are like wait you don't have medical bills though and like donate to twitch.tv slash angry as Pat oh my god I fucking do uh oh uh, so their car is totaled but they are totally okay Wait, I'm in the hospital, then it runs over my legs? Yeah, that's the order of events. That's the order of operations that we're dealing with here. Elma was so grumbly. This grumbly baby. He's such a sweet boy. Always get this one first when you come in here. Got that? Then get this thing. Then turn around, top up your ammo, and then just run. When is Elmo getting his haircut? Well, 
I kept saying, just call the place and we'll bring him, and then you don't call the place. Well, I don't call the place because I want you to be sure. Paige, the cat is more important than me. All right, they're stuck up on that Claritin because you're going to be. That's fine, Paige. It, living it, in it a will nightmare. become a bit. All right. Wow, look how detailed that text is. Wow. Is that fucking Comic Sans? Nice. Oh, Miranda in Comic Sans. Mm. Mm. Buda ba ba. Ba da ba da ba da. Buda ba ba. Thank you, darling. Mm hmm. Boy, but he's all so slow. Nailed it. Undertale Resident Evil fanfic? Hell yeah. Ugh. The T virus turned me into a fucking skeleton, bro. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, Critical. Not Critical. Fucking. Cri Sorry, I was watching Critical Role and then. Oh, yeah, no, it is Critical. Moist Critical. And then I watched Critical Role. Right? Hey, but what I was the watching. What are you talking about? Well, I have two things. Number one, if I want to get into Critical Role. Do I have to start at the beginning? Yes. Oh. Hey, how do I get into this thing? Start at the beginning. The only the only time that is ever not appropriate to tell somebody is wrestling. Because wrestling has been a like near unending continuum for like 60 years. Season two? Because I liked Brian Posehn's uh, nerd poker. That's pretty fun. Oh my god. You gotta take this fuse and go over here. Dude, I don't like Doctor Who that much. I wish I did. I want to. I always try. And then I'm always like. I have uh, never seen you try Doctor Who, but that doesn't mean anything. I'm not watching you all the time. Oh, check this out! The shutters? Oh, you can't get a good camera look. The shutters have the same XDR labeling as a lot of the Umbrella equipment. They're probably manufactured by Umbrella. You know what is perfect, though? The best show? It's mm -hmm. Red Dwarf. No. Red Dwarf is an incredible show. Pat, you just don't like it because it's old. Paige, we just finished watching TNG. Yeah. You're an asshole. But Red Dwarf fucking rules. We're now getting ready to go into the basement. So it looks like half of Claire and all of Leon will be tomorrow. That looks like it's how it's gonna work out. Like, fucking Mr. Flibble is very cross. Love Mr. Flibble. You sound like an asshole right now. Why? For liking Red Dwarf. How? It's an incredible fucking sick show. For idiots. Nailed it. Mm. No, mm. it's great How does it feel to hate things that are good it's like a just national... because you're an asshole like a bagel? It's a national treasure. Wait. Like, like it's a fucking phenomenal show. Dr. Who ruined porn for you? What, what do you mean? Okay, that's quite the claim. Th I need to that's know why. That's a big claim. Paige loves bagels. Spread the word like cream cheese. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. David Sanchan, could you make, like, a, a, a image of Paige, like, kissing on a bagel all creepo-like? Ew, no. Because you love bagels so much? Great. Now now people are going to come up to me when I'm drunk and vulnerable at MAGFest. And they'll be like, hey, Paige. Would you like to drive me to the bagel store? No. <laughs> They're going to be like, here, have this bagel. And we'll take a video of you kissing it. And I'll be like, ha ha, okay. Because I'm an idiot. Whoa, what the fuck? I didn't kill her. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I thought you were another one of those zombies. 
Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who um... are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her. But I failed miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop Why is she in a fucking wedding in dress? a manner of speaking. Because he's a creepo. Either by putting a bullet through her brain, or by decapitating her completely. And to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. But no longer. Please. I'd really like to be alone now. Is he the bad guy? He's a bad guy. One of your cool Easter egg that I tell every time I walk into this room. Yeah. In the RE2 novelization, Sherry actually hides behind this tiger after running away from Claire here because she believes that the tiger will protect her from Mr. X. What an idiot. Oh yeah, isn't she 12? Yeah, she's 12. Wait. Let me go. A 12-year-old would not believe easy that. Easy there. I'm not a zombie. Whatever. You're safe now. <laughs> Theme of ovaries. Leon, come in. I found the girl, and I've cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry. Do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant. Near the city limits. The chemical plant? Then, what are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right. But it's dangerous here as well. Do you ever see Sherry later when she's older? Yes. Really? She's one of the characters there. you play as in RE6. I don't know what it oh. is. She has crazy I healing powers. It. Much larger oh. than Because of all of the mutant zombies. bullshit her dad does and to her here. after me. What was that? Cute That's dad. what I was telling you about. It's here. Sherry, Sherry wait. wait. Secretary's diary. As I was straightening up the chief's room, he burst through the door with this furious look on his face. It's only been two months since I started working here, but that's the second time I've seen him like this. Last time was when I bumped into that statue, only this time he looked even more agitated than ever. Seriously thought for a moment he was going to hurt me. Finally discovered what the chief has been hiding all along. If he finds out that I know, my life will be in serious danger. It's getting late already. Just have to take this one day at a time. Yeah, she's dead. Wait, did I pick up the... I did not. Pee pee. I love this cat. He is sweet. I love him and his dumb little feet. Beep beep. Chief Irons? Chief? Where'd you go? Well, luckily we get this heart key to allow us access to the basement. Day. Chief's diary. It's all over. Those imbeciles from Umbrella have finally done it. Despite all their promises, they've ruined my town. Soon the streets will be infested with zombies. Beginning to think that I may even be infected myself. I'll kill everyone in town if this turns out to be true. I was successful in spreading confusion amongst the police as planned. Made sure that no one from the outside will come to help. 
With the delays of police actions, no one will have the chance to escape my city alive. I've seen to it personally that all escape routes from inside the precinct have been cut off as well. There are several survivors that are still attempting to escape through the lower levels. But I'll make sure no one gets out. I had a change of heart about the remaining survivors inside the precinct. I decided to hunt them down myself. Shot Ed in the back through the heart less than an hour ago. I watched him writhe on the floor in the pool of his own blood. The expression on his face was positively exquisite. He died with his eyes wide open, staring up at me. It was beautiful. I wonder if the mayor's daughter is still alive. I let her escape so I could enjoy hunting her down later. I'm going to enjoy my new trophy. Yes, frozen forever in the perfect pose I choose to give her. Wow, Chief, you seem like a fucking psycho. What's up with that shit? I love his annoyed little yell when I push him. He's like, man. There we go. Oh, we're definitely going to hit three hours on this run. There's no way I'm going to. Fucking crush it. Dogs? No. I'm not there. Damn, I keep thinking all these things for, that are here are for, you know, Claire, but they're for Leon. Leon! Leon! I can't believe it! Hey, you guys want to see a cool trick? Don't... Ha. Oh, you don't have to do it here. You have to wait a little bit. Jesus, man. Elmo's trying to say hi to the doggy. That took nine bullets? No. So here's the cool trick. You ready? This only works if you have auto target on. So the thing is, they will never come out until you change that camera angle. Never. Fucking health items and shit. Here's the puzzle. One, two, down, three, down, beep, beep. Did I try the event quest in Monster Hunter World for uh, Resident Evil? No, because I'm playing the PC version. I'll let you know how the PC version of Iceborne is relatively soon. I got a review code for it. Uh, there's a streaming embargo on it uh, that's just don't play up to a certain point. Probably be streaming it on Sunday at some point, maybe. Maybe Saturday, depending. So hey, run towards the camera. Run, run, run. Turn. Fuck. Well, this is one of the most interesting um, camera angles because that's the street up behind her. I 
fucking felt it. You get so much handgun ammo in this game. Why do they have a spoiler embargo for a game that's been out for months? Quote, to, uh, be kind, uh, so, so as not to spoil the game for the PC players that have been patiently waiting for the, uh, Monster Hunter. All right. So here's a fun one. I tend to save here on runs I'm not confident with because Sherry's fucking trip through her side mission actually kind of tough. Actually kind of tough. Sherry, I've been looking everywhere for you. I was so worried. We've got to go now, honey, okay? If we stay here, that monster will find us. Let's go. You'll get a normal podcast this week, but probably not no, a normal one the week after or the week after that What's because of uh, holidays and MAGFest. <laughs> Don't you trust me? It's not that, Claire. It's because of my daddy. He's over there. I heard him call my name. Yeah, but it was like a monster. It was like, Jerry! And she was like, oh, Dad. Wait, Sherry, don't go alone. Sherry? Sherry! Sherry! <gasps> if you notice real careful, when you run towards the camera, her necklace is gone because it fell onto the floor uh, when she crawled over that shit, and that's how Ada gets it. Even though, and here's the fun part, it's supposed to only disappear, um, like, canonically. This part sucks, dude. Canonically. Uh, it actually fucking falls off here. Because this is where Ada comes through and picks it up. Right? Oh, hey. The Birkin family. Uh, but, uh, you know, you're not always going to go down there. How does she tank the dogs? She's very strong. XDR! There it is again. This is umbrella shit. It's also near the chemical factory. You can tell that's off the distance. This is the part that I don't like. The dogs just do so much fucking damage. I mean, I haven't taken any damage, but she can get comboed. Oh, hold on. Here's a map. Scenario B has zombies. Uh, Ada fucking walks all over that shit. These are the same crates from RE1, by the way. Same exact crates. You can tell by the UMB logo. There we go. Don't 
Don't know why this room would exist, but all right. Why is she dressed like a choir boy? I don't know. It's supposed to be like a school uniform sailor outfit, but it makes no sense because she's American. I don't know. I don't get it. Let's get the fuck out of here. Bye, doggy. The sound effect shit there? when the items at the floor always Sherry, cracks me up. Are you okay? Did you find your dad? The key is pretty normal, yes, but the I'm fucking okay. grenades are him. so impressive that she's able to one hand but them. Check this shit out. Else for you. Here. Key. It's like that was so heavy. Hey, now why don't you come over here? That was so heavy. Sherry. What a bitch. Can't believe it. Yeah, there are literal monsters, but she's got to find her daddy. Sherry, your daddy is clearly a monster. My daddy! <laughs> Alright. Die, I guess. What's up, man? Wrong button again. That's a fun little trick. Still works. You run, and they go, Ooh, and then you're guaranteed to hit them. Oh man, all these bodies. I hope nothing bad happens. Oh my god! Oh, it was fine. It was just, uh, oh Jesus! Uh, And they're all wearing the same shirt. Guns! I'm gonna pick up neither! Are you serious? No? I just want to show it off.
Oh, it's so fucking round now. Why not pick it up? Because I'm leaving it for Leon. Alright. Uh huh. Uh huh. Where is. There she is. There we go. And let's grab this thing. Now we got. Ah, uh, wait. I need a lighter. Let's talk about Neil Breen in here? Jesus. His movies are amazing. How could anyone hate Neil Breen? He's incredible. Visionary of our time. I should see Twisted Pair. Again, Leon exclusive. Shit. craziest thing about this, the fucking thing takes infinite ammo. Finally had the chance to see blue skies for the first time in ages, but it did little to lift my spirits. I was reprimanded by my chief for neglecting my duties while I was up on the clock tower. Still one thing I don't understand. The chief seemed to be more concerned about the fact that I was up on the tower rather than the fact I was neglecting my duties. Why was access to the tower prohibited in the first place anyway? I recently talked to the old man who works in the scrapyard out back. His name is Thomas. He's a quiet man and seems to really enjoy chess. He even went so far as to design a special key and lock engraved with chess pieces on them from one of the doors in the disposal yard. And he plans to play chess tomorrow night. Can't help but wonder how good he is. One thing that's been bothering me about him is the way he's always scratching himself. Does he have some kind of skin disease or is he just rude? Thomas was a much better player than I had imagined. I used to think of myself as a fairly decent player, but he did a pretty good job of humbling me. About the only things I could imagine that could match his skills in chess was his appetite. All the guy did was talk about food throughout the entire game. He sounded fairly healthy, but he didn't look quite right. I wonder if he's okay. Supposed to play another game of chess with Thomas, we had to cancel because he hasn't been feeling too well. He stopped by to see me, but I told him to go back and rest since he literally looked like the walking dead. He insisted that it was just fine, but I could tell he was really having problems. Come to think of it, I haven't been feeling too good myself lately. Bummer. Getting itchy and tasty. Itchy and tasty. All right, let's go get that cog. I'm able to get part two of the blue, talk to irons, and get to the sewers. I forgot I left that here. There's something I'm forgetting. And I feel like it's really important. About the path that I have planned in my head. I feel like it's something I forgot last time, too. I think I, f I remember what it was.
There we go. We now have the cog. Let's go upstairs. And that's another thing I forgot. There's going to be a liquor right in front of me on this ladder. Bitch. And walk through. And one step in. The shutters are going to break. And blams. Luckily, we never have to go down to the basement again. What's your fastest time in this game, even though you do not speedrun it? The fastest time I ever did was the time I did uh, the, the playthrough I did earlier in the year. Um, I think it was like 2.04 and then sub 2 hours. I think. This is not going to be a time like that. I'm reading documents. I'm, uh, I'm not skipping things. I actually like Mr. X as a pursuer more than Nemesis. I dig his aesthetic more, but new Nemesis looks good. I like him. I just like the idea that, like, Mr. X, like, they attempted to make him look like a human being from a distance, even though he's, like, nine and a half feet tall. What am I doing? I completely fucking blanked out. God damn. How silly of me. Kind of how you try to attempt to look human at five feet tall. All right, that's pretty good. Claire. That's pretty okay. That's a good one. You Sherry, got me. You're okay. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. Oh, a secret passage. We've lost the mansion lab facility due to the actions of the renegade op, Albert Wesker. Fortunately, his interference will have no lasting effects upon our continued virus research. 
Our pro only pleasant concern is the presence of remaining STARS members, Redfield, Valentine, Burton, Chambers, and Vickers. It comes to light that any of the STARS have evident any of this, so this the activities or the research, dispose of them in such a manner that would look accidental. Continue to monitor their progress and make certain their knowledge does not go to the public, and that will continue to be your contact. From William Birkin. I've deposited the amount of $10,000 to the account for your services. This term is per arrangement. Development of the G virus scheduled to replace the T virus is nearing completion. Once completed, I'm certain that I will be appointed to a member of the executive board for Umbrella. It is imperative that we proceed with extreme caution. Redfield and the remaining STARS members are still attempting to uncover information on the project. Continue to monitor their activities, lock all attempts to investigate this shit. You have a problem. I've received information informing me that Umbrella HQ has sent spies to recover my research on the G-Virus. There are an unknown number of agents involved that must not be allowed to take this project away from me as it represents my life's work. Search the city thoroughly for any suspicious persons, detain any such individuals by whatever means deemed necessary, and contact me immediately through a net. With these precautions, any possible threat should be eliminated. I will, I will not allow anyone to steal my work on the G-Virus. Not even Umbrella. The people that you are going to give it to. It makes no sense! The entire part of I'm going down there. Um, Stay here and wait for me, okay? Umbrella is going to send spies to steal the research from William that he's going to give them always was fucking stupid. It made no sense at all. It's a lot better in the uh, remake where he was supposed to sell it to some other company, probably HCF or uh, the US military or some such shit. And, you know, cut Umbrella out of it. Delicious. Let's hear that eyeball noise. Alright, the eyeball noise that's out of sync in the GameCube version for some reason. made it this far. Not bad, girl. But I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. Calm down, Chief. What happened? Shut up. You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything, everything I've, I've done, done for, for them? them. So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know, it's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bio-weapons. Superior to the T-Virus in every way. Dr. William Birkin is the genius behind the project. William Birkin? I'm sure you've already seen his little girl running around here some. Sherry, isn't it? In case you haven't already figured it out, the monster that's been tearing my prison apart is yet another product of the G virus. The ultimate, ultimate bio, bio weapon. Umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. But if I have to go, I'm going to take you with me. Oh, I just can't take the pain. Holy shit, Chief. That looks like shit, dog. Well, get these acid rounds. I like the little suggestion of use acid rounds against this. It hates it. You want to see the fucking pinnacle of Resident Evil boss fights? The absolute ultimate? Get ready for this shit. Did 
did it. You gotta go back and get Sherry, which sucks. So in the book, so it, it, you're gonna see it in a second where uh, she just walks by with Sherry next by a bisected corpse, and Sherry's like, "Yeah, whatever, I don't give a shit." In the uh, novelization, uh, Claire yeah, takes a fucking blanket and puts it over Irons' body so that Sherry doesn't see that fucked up shit. What's wrong, Claire? It's nothing. But I think I found a way out of here. We should be able to find some place safe if we can just make it out of town. But... Don't worry, I'll protect you. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't leave my side. Leon, are you still there? We're leaving. Are you crazy? The streets are still crawling with zombies. It'll be all right, trust me. We found a way to the sewer. Follow, Follow us, us later. later. Claire! Claire! Wait, wait! So the only way that scene makes sense for him to keep going wait, wait, and she like hangs up on him, is that she turns the fucking radio off. Which, like... Why? Why? Yeah, out of all the Resident Evil antagonists, uh, Insane Intentions Yo points out that Nikolai is the only one to still be alive. Cherry, check this shit out. It's crazy. Hope nothing crazy happens. Come on, let's get out of here. Into the pee pee water. Respect the pipe. Three, two, one. Bye, Sherry. Sherry, where are you? Sherry. Sherry. Claire, I'm here. Zoinks. Sherry section two, the hard one. Hi, I'm Sherry. Hi, everybody. Hi, little girl. Now I got poop all over. Should be able to cut there, but uh... Oh my god, a zombie! I can't believe it! All right, let's just see if this works. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's just gar. Hey, look, a wolf medal. You guys remember that from earlier tonight. Oh no, the trash.
Ugh. Gross. It sounds so bad without context. It's just as bad with context. Let's read this note. On the first and third Wednesdays of the month, Angelica Margaret, Chief of Maintenance, will make sure to make use of the facilities. Be sure to reduce the moisture levels in the facility by activating the fan, as the equipment she will be using is susceptible to the effects of water vapors. On the 28th of every month, the chemical transporter Don Weller will use the facility. Chemicals he will be transporting are extremely volatile. Extreme caution should be observed throughout their transport. On the 6th and 16th of every month, Police Chief Irons will visit the facility to attend regular meetings that play, take place in the lab. On every fourth Friday of every other month, William Birkin will use the facility to conduct a training seminar for the Chicago branch of Umbrella Incorporated. As the probability of an attack upon Dr. Birkin will be high, take every measure to conceivable to guard his life. He'll be informed of all other potential visitors and the times they will arrive, as needed. Guide these individuals to their destination safely. We expect nothing from the best from you. Charles Coleman, Security Chief, Umbrella HQ. Check that locker. And that's some ink ribbons in there? No, hang hang on, that's right. Use the lockpick? Got it. And that's it. That's all the items down here. Leon gets way more. Way, way, way more. Bow gun ammo? Oh, who even cares? <laughs> who, who even gives a single shit? Uh, we want this and this, and then we're gonna run over here. No. And pick you up and save you down. And that is what we will be doing for tonight. Somehow, I was able to turn that shit off real fast. Oh crap, it's Dolphin, you can see it. Oh god. Oh no. Um, shit. Don't worry, oh no. Oh god. What? They could see that I'm using Dolphin. Oh. What does that mean? It's an emulator. No, they already knew, I'm just being an asshole. Oh my god. Is that bad? It's so bad. I'm going to go to Dolphin Jail. What? Which is from JoJo, actually. Um, what does this mean? Dolphin Jail? No, what does that mean? Oh, relax. Hey guys, I'm going to take a quick pee. We'll come back, finish off the donos that we're going to call it a night. Tomorrow will be the rest of RE2. Uh, so we might be doing RE3 next week if on Saturday I decide to stream something a little different. All right, so I'll be right back in just a couple minutes.
And I'm back, y'all. How's everyone doing? So I think that I've been playing the game the whole time underneath the wrong title. Uh-oh. I think that I am playing under Resident Evil 2 instead of Resident Evil 2 1998. I'm pretty sure that's okay, right? Well, they are slightly separate games. Oh. Oopsie doodles. But that's an honest mistake. Besides, somebody who came in for the remake and got the original is like, yeah! But Alright, hey. Let's thank some of the people who subscribed as well as thank our dear Elmo. Subscribed? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. <gasps> Elmo just flooped. He just flooped onto the floor. He decided that flooping onto the floor was a good idea. I love you. All right. Let's thank King Strong Style for something for 13. Thank you. As well as Mighty Max, who sub for 10, says, Hey there, this will be my first or original RE2 watch, so I'll be excited to watch. Oh, great. Tune in tomorrow. I'll do the rest of it. I hope you had fun. Bogmon69 sub, thank you. Nutson sub for 9 says, Awesome, when's Dino Crisis? Never, I really don't like Dino Crisis. Uh, Varlinator kicked in 5 bucks. Thank you, Varlinator. It's bad. Oh. Uh, Pat, you earned yourself big respect points from me. You talk about the OG games leap in quality with their sequel to RE1 and RE2 and immediately gave Mass Effect 1 to Mass Effect 2 as the next example. Favorite series, series quality improvement, MAIO. Also, MGS to MGS2. That's where you're wrong. I'm just one's probably better. Lazy Bulbasaur sub for nine says X gonna give it to you. Thank you, Lazy Bulbasaur. Emma Poosh sub for thirty four. Thank you, Patriot Renegade sub for eighteen. Thank you kindly. Jojo Piero kicked in seven fifty bits. Say hey, Blue Stands. <laughs> no one. Just finished the Death Stranding LP. I called fucking Unger BB shit so hard. How excited are you for fourteen Thunder Planes in five point two? Fuggins for you sub for nine. Thank you, Mister Fuggins. Always appreciate it, buddy. Zuler, so 14, says, hey, 14 months, woo, woo. Ori 2 is out? Already? That seems wrong. Was that coming out in March? Uh, CD-ROM, so for 8, says, any idea when your next, next session of Guiding the Blind through Dark Souls 2 will be? Um, well, let's look at the calendar here. Um, Sunday? Sunday works for Pat. And then, uh, what are you doing tomorrow? Streaming. What about, I'm sorry, what about Saturday is what I meant? Streaming. What time? In the afternoon. Maybe, okay, maybe Saturday or Sunday. Okay. Maybe both, we'll see. A weekend day. Star Warp sub, thank you, Star Warp. Dante Magnum sub for five, says this book versus game comparison is the kind of useless knowledge I subscribe for. Love you, Pat. Love you too, buddy. Uh, Wonderbot 3000, sub for 13. Thank you, Wonderbot. And Gabe Sweetman, sub for 14. Thank you, Gabe Sweetman. I appreciate it. All right, that's it. We're done. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. We're going to bang out the rest of Claire. Hey. And, we're going to uh, bang. And then uh, we'll... Uh, we're going to bang Claire. We're going to do Leon's campaign like that. And Leon. We'll bang both of them. High five. Okay. Well, good night, everyone. Bye. You all have a good night. And uh, don't drink and drive. <laughs> no, seriously, don't do it. It's bad. Shut the fuck up.